Hi, this is Ray at Drop of Golden Tarot, and I got a package today in the mail early. Um, I wasn't expecting this from the tracking number to come until um, Monday, so it's two days early, and I am not mad about that at all. Um, so it's thoroughly taped on every side. So I'm going to pause the camera and open it with some scissors, and then I will come right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, this was like the best package deck I've ever seen. It was like the Fort Knox of getting into tarot, but very well packaged. I'm sure everything's gonna be in great shape inside the box. Okay, first of all, let's look at this. How cute, how cute, and the stickers. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that stickers? Or no, it's a postcard. This is a postcard. Oh, here we go. Welcome to your handcrafted anthropomorphic northern animal tarot deck. <clears throat> it's a 98 card deck. More cards, more stories, added more characters and places. And so this is um, Linda at uh, Wilder Heart Studio who made this. You can follow her on Instagram. I've been following her on Instagram since before the Kickstarter went live, was watching her. I'm just super excited about this deck. <sighs> been watching it come to fruition. So here we go. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> so we have a thank you card. Okay. And the bag. Now she hand printed these and she showed like a little video. Was it on the Kickstarter or was it on her Instagram? I can't remember. She showed a little video of her printing um, more runs of these bags by hand. And everything in here was uh, eco friendly with the printing. She's a local, local printer and made sure that the paper and the ink and everything was. So, oh, I'm going to put this aside and check and make sure there's nothing else in there. And there's not. Why was I thinking there were stickers? I don't know. Anyways, that doesn't matter. This is what matters. Can I tell you? I can't tell you how excited I am for this. Okay. Okay, what do I have? Okay, so I have a guidebook here. Oh, I do have stickers, yay! Oh, they're glossy, let me make sure I can. Fortunes found inside. Oh, those are so adorable. Okay, um, a little tarot guide booklet. Basically just a uh, a description of the card and a little ex explanation of what it means. Suit of Swords is all here. Wands, cups, and pentacles. Um, the bonus cards, a little bit about the phases of the moon, the shadow cards, and a little bit about the deck. So, oh, let me pull that back so you can see more. There you go. So just a little bit. But it's based on Rider Waite Smith, so you really shouldn't need a whole lot of book, a whole lot of ex explanation. Yeah. So I have a tuck box. Oh, it's got it's sealed. Okay, so I'm going to go from the other end. I'm going to go from the non-sealed, maybe. No, that's sticky. That's got glue on it. Oh, I don't really want to rip that. Can I? Okay, this is going to peel off. It looks like pretty nicely. Oh, yay. And 
Okay, just look at the inside of that. That is so darn cute, even on the inside. Okay, plastic wrap. More stuff for me to dig into here. smell it. I am a deck sniffer. Mm. Time to adventure with Northern Animal Tarot. Okay. So, okay, some of these backs are glossy and some are not so glossy. Let's see if there's a, okay, let me see. What do I have here? Okay. Okay, I'll figure that out in a minute. Let's just start putting these cards down, getting things out of the way, and flipping through. Let me see if I can zoom in. Kind of stay where. And I'm just going to flip through the deck, and I'm going to see it for the first time with you. And here we have two Hierophant cards. I remember her posting on Instagram when she made them both, not being able to decide between which one, and so she gave them both to us. Oh, I love the honors. Oh, um, what are they called when the rabbits have the horns? Um, oh my gosh, it's, I, oh. Maybe it's going to come to me. I can't think of what that's called when the rabbits have horns. If you can remember, put it down below. Remind me what it's called. I hope these are... Oh, yeah. So they're not glossy. So it looks like they're showing up on the camera pretty good. I love this card. Look, he's got little boots on. I never noticed that before. Oh, we got our little lightning bugs. Oh, that's so adorable. That, oh, stunning. A jackalope! Sorry, it's called a jackalope. That's what I was thinking. The bunny is with the ears, jackalope. Okay. Oh, the squirrels and the birds have been displaced. Oh, I like that. Perfect. <laughs> Moth to the flame and the world. Okay, here we go. Into the suit of wands. Perfect. Oh yeah, love that Four of Wands. Pretty traditional. Okay, I love it. I love, we've got the traditional, but I 
there's more than just wands in the image. And I have to tell you, that's one of the things I don't like about the traditional Rider Waite Smith on this Eight of Wands. I hate the fact that it usually has wands and no other image. Oh boy, he looks cold. He's got frost coming out of his breath and he's shivering. I'm working to go uphill. Page. Knight, Queen, and King. And so have these all been, these all been foxes, right? And wands. So let's see what we have for cups. So mostly it's been deer. We had one ram, some rams back in there, but goat. So antlered hooved four-legged creatures. For the wands. Now our swords. Okay, we got a bird there. Kind of very traditional three of swords. So it does look like we're gonna have a couple different because that's a, a yellow beak sticking out there on that six. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Page night. I like that she is on her nest and, and sitting on her eggs there. Okay, and then an owl for the King of Swords. I love an owl for the King of Swords. That suits me just fine. Pentacles. Oh. Looks like we have like smaller animals. We got some squirrels and woodchucks and mice. Rabbit. Badger. Okay, so there are the 78, well, 79 because we have two Hierophant cards. And so here's the extra cards. An All About Me spread. A Busy Bee spread. How's My Heart spread. And then Okay, so these are some of the extra cards, and I don't even know what they're all. I'm gonna flip to the booklet. Hmm. Okay, the seed. Only in total darkness can birth of a tree be born from a single seed. 
It might be dark, but keep reaching. You will find the warm light that will carry you forward. Incubation period. Spring. Is this spring? Oh no, this is the owls. Telling of messages to come. Be on the lookout for unexpected ways of signs and messages that are here to guide you. Your answers may come in silence and in the dark unseen. Let's see. Hmm. How do I think this one is? Is this winter? Hibernation? Conserve your energy? Plan for the long term? Ponder the ways of the world? Connect with loved ones? Is that that one? Or is this? That'll be fall. That looks like summer. Fall. Oh no, This so this has got to be spring. Sorry. Washing away the old, making way for new growth. Oh yeah, we see the new growth here. Waking up, feel the wind in your hair, and listen to the birds. There just wasn't birds, so it kind of threw me off. But that's spring. Summer. Hot sun can burn the earth, but trees have a full canopy of leaves and provide cool shade. Sing and dancing Everything is alive. Fall, harvest time, the trees take back their energy so they drop their leaves so the sun can still warm and dry the earth time to gather. I love this card, love it. And here's our winter, our hibernation. Conserve your energy plan for the long term. And the phases of the moon. We have new moon. Waning Crescent, Third Quarter, oh no, we're actually the opposite, I'm sorry. We have Full Moon, Third Quarter, Waning Crescent, that's what I get for looking at the book instead of the cards while I was reading, and our New Moon. Shadow cards, okay. This is Sasquatch. Old tree. Goblin. Ghost. And star. So when I looked at it the first time, I got so all the backs look pretty much the same. Some of them are slightly more glossy than others. I don't know if that's picking up on the camera very well. Can you see how, yeah. Like there's just a few that are like really glossy. And that's not just the way it's catching the light. I actually have two cards here that are really glossy. And that is winter and full moon and two cards here which are the owls and spring and then as I look through the deck I have a couple that are like right there those two are glossier it's like they got more lamination oh, that's okay these backs are cute they are as you can see, they are not reversible, are they? No, they're not reversible. So, that's okay. Um, I don't read reversals, so for me, I don't shuffle in reversals. So, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to take out the spread cards. I'll... I'm the sort of person who I'll leave these cards in a deck if they come with a deck. So you can see there's like, uh, I know she used um, eco-friendly paper, so we have a little bit of difference in the coloring. That won't matter, I'm gonna edge this anyways. I'm either gonna edge it in a, a dark blue or maybe even this dark green. 
I think. I don't think I'll end it. I could do a bronze, but I don't think I will. I think I'll do it in a dark blue or dark green. And let's see how it, let me maybe pull back again so you can see more again. So they are, they're, they're uh, a nice size. I'll get out another deck and compare them. bendy but they are pretty big for my hands um, they're not super stiff so they're shuffling pretty good here maybe they don't seem to like uh, easily slide in there very good again. Um, let me, um, okay. Compare size wise to the dark wood. Gives you an idea. Oh, I picked a glossy card. It's okay. So size wise, wood so they are bigger than that um, cardstock is kinda pretty thin but it shuffles well we'll see how it holds up over time the fact that that doesn't there we go, slide back in place. There we go. I think it's just so, it's big for my hands a little bit, that, but that won't dissuade me. I like I like decks with big cards. I like to be able to see the artwork and the details on them. So, let's pick a card. Yeah, let's see what we get. The Page of Pentacles. So, and in here, if you want to look, pages are about messages, pentacles about earth, work, real life. Real life. In real life, yes. Realization that what goes into life and seeing the order, the scholar, bookworm, joy of discovery, and learning. And you do get that out of this card. So there we go. Northern Animal Tarot. Oh, here's the pouch and the box. And my stickers and extra cards. And you're going to see pictures of this over the next few days because I have been so excited to get this into my collection um, eventually you're gonna see it edged and you'll be seeing it in spreads and you'll be seeing it on my Instagram account so thanks for coming along for this unboxing and thank you to Linda um, she did such a great campaign uh, when she did the Kickstarter she wasn't quite finished with all of the coloring of the illustrations, maybe not even all the illustrations, but she kept us up to date through the entire Kickstarter. Um, if you had a question, she was super responsive and answered it right away. And it was just, it was a pleasure to work and back and support this deck. And I'm sure it's gonna be um, a pleasure to work with it as a tarot deck too. So this has been Ray from Drop of Golden Tarot, and uh, stay safe and have fun, and not necessarily in that order. Bye-bye.